So there was an American uh, citizen by the name of uh, Ian Perdicaris from New Jersey uh, who left the United States and went to England and then eventually made his way to Tangier. This is in the, the late 1800s. And uh, he settled in Tangier. He was very wealthy. Uh, he was a, an amateur artist, so you can see uh, one of his uh, oil paintings here. And um, he settled in uh, what was now the, uh, the site of the Hotel Minza, uh, which is, is quite a big property. That was his townhouse. And then he had a country home outside in, in the uh, forest that now carries his name, the Perry Christ Forest. And it was there that he was kidnapped in 1904 by a Moroccan uh, chieftain by the name of Rasuli. And Rasuli was a, um, a turbulent figure. He, he had kidnapped other foreigners. Uh, sometimes he was a, an opponent of the, the Sultan. Uh, and so he was, he was quite a, a troublemaker. And so he, uh, he, his kidnapping of uh, Perdicaris really sparked a diplomatic incident because it happened just during the American re-election campaign of Teddy Roosevelt. And so Roosevelt, had a telegram sent to Tangier, uh, Perdicaris alive or Raisuli dead, and that became his campaign slogan during his re-election campaign. He sent battleships to Tangier, he sent US Marines, they landed here, and um, eventually Perdicaris was released through negotiation through payment of ransom. But um, in the 1970s, Hollywood uh, made a film based, loosely based on this incident, and they put Sean Connery in the role of the uh, chieftain Raisuli uh, with a, a nice uh, bushy beard. But then Mr. Perdicaris was uh, cast as uh, a woman in the person of uh, Candace Bergen. And uh, people always wondered, well, you know, did Hollywood do this just to uh, uh, add an element of romance into the story? And the answer is, well, yes, they, they put in a lot of things in the film that didn't happen in reality. Um, in the film, they have U.S. Marines shooting at Moroccan soldiers. That, that never happened. They also have them shooting at German soldiers. Well, there were no German soldiers uh, here at the time. So, um, so it's, it's one of those Hollywood, uh, you know, uh, sort of semi-historical uh, films. But there was an element of uh, truth in, in that uh, Rosita Forbes in the 1920s, who was a British travel writer, wrote uh, several books uh, about uh, North Africa, including a biography of uh, Rasuli. And uh, the filmmaker sort of conflated this woman, the British woman in the 1920s, with this incident that happened in 1904. So that's how we got Candace Bergen in the, the role.